I like science because you get to use your hands and you get to find like stuff that you've never done before and experiment. Science is interesting because you can, in some aspects, you can like help the world and make the world a better place. Yeah, I think science is really cool because um, you always have the chance to like discover new things. When you're thinking about science literacy and what it means to be a scientifically literate person, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to do science or become a scientist as you grow up, but rather it's being able to take in information, look at the quality of that information, understand how science is conducted, understand who's a credible scientist and who isn't, be able to discern between what's on social media and what's you know, in publications and peer-reviewed publications. And so I believe that the BRIC project definitely helps students understand that the nature of science is long-term study. We have peers that are looking at what we do and there's a set rigorous standard that we are meeting when we do our science. What's your favorite thing from modern science and engineering? BRIC is a five-year um, NIH-funded SEPA Grant Science Education Partnership Award, and it, the acronym stands for Bringing Research into the Classroom. We provide three days of science outreach to thousands and thousands of students across Montana. It is incredible to have the Montana Tech team here in my classroom. It's really a once-in-a-lifetime experience for a lot of these kids, and I really believe that it excites them in a way that I would never be able to do without that partnership. Hey, I've been coming to Helena since 2005 to do phage discovery. Phages are, are everywhere and we're looking for these to fight bacteria. So we're having problems with bacteria that are becoming resistant to antibiotics. And so these phages offer us a new way to potentially fight against them. If we could potentially find a phage that would infect them, it could help stop the spread of some of these diseases and it could help cure people in the future. And so the first day I come in and I provide them tubes to collect real samples that they go and collect. People uh, brought samples from like around town and like from like dirt or snow or water that's outside and I got mine from just outside of the school. I just got it from snow at my house. I got mine from my front yard. On the second and third day, all the supplies to discover phages are brought into the classroom. Petri dishes and micropipetters and pipettes and bacteria that they need to test their sample for a virus. We are testing out to see if we can find a virus that will maybe kill TB because like, we have like a close relative to it. So we're testing on that, and maybe if it works on that, it might work on TV. They get to filter their sample through a very, very small poured filter to separate the bacteria from the viruses. Um, and the students hands-on do each of these steps after having them demonstrated for them. I've never done anything like this. I think it's really cool that we've had this opportunity. Just seeing that spark is really exciting, and I try to capitalize that when I talk to students. I try to capitalize on that excitement about it because that's the first push you want to get kids more excited. After the second day, those petri dishes go into the incubator, and on day three, they come back to test any possible circles on their petri dish, plaques or death zones, for the verifying that they can kill fresh bacteria. When students discover a phage, it's new to science. And when you tell a student that, that's mind-blowing, right? Like, that's like explorers, and I mean, we don't often have the opportunity in our world to discover something brand new. And when you discover a phage in your sample, it is brand new to science. They get to name that phage, it becomes its scientific name, their name gets entered as the discoverer. Um, that is super cool. The whole experience with Dr. Badula and phages has really opened up a door to me, and it's made me a lot more interested in medical sciences and the potential of innovations that could change the world. Leading kids to the um, pipeline is really difficult if you don't know how to do the research yourself. And so we started partnering with teachers across the state um, to do um, professional development and really learning how to do authentic research. We teachers got paid to go to Butte and spend a week doing actual research and lab work that it had been years since I had been in a situation like that. I think by me 
explaining about the research I've been doing by seeing scientists around that the kids are getting ideas that they can do science in high school and do research in, in high school, which is, I think, in a, a huge benefit too. A team of, of dedicated people working toward a common goal of discovery is, is very powerful and citizen science is, is a great way to engage a large number of students and find meaningful, genuine discoveries to help grow the body of knowledge for science.